Good evening. We're back to do some more Outer Wilds, and I feel like we're getting close to the end. We... There's still a lot of answers, like a lot of questions we have about the satellite that we've been calling the Stranger that we found. And it starts off at a distance from the sun, and it moves away from the sun as the loop goes on. We we know that the Stranger's inhabitants, Alkin or Almen or whatever you want to call them, they escape into this virtual reality world that they, they, they had made themselves. And they do that by taking their artifacts and going to sleep in front of the green fires. I'm not really sure how the green fires get generated, but they do that. It puts them to sleep and transports them to a virtual world where they exist. In the real world, it appears that their bodies are decayed. So they're at the point where they can't return to the real world. They're stuck in the virtual world. So. And we have also noticed that when the flooding comes from the dam breaking on the ring world that they, their bodies are on, that the stranger is, basically. The lowlands uh, mortuary, we've been referring to them as mortuaries because they're full of dead body space, basically, at this point. The lowlands mortuary gets flooded first, and those, any, any, any souls connected to those bodies get disappeared, killed, I guess, in the virtual world. Then the tower ones go, and then the ones on the cliff side don't go. So at least one third of the owl men still survive to the end of the loop. As far as we know, anyway. Now, the trick is... We have to figure out how to open the vault that they were keeping a secret. We're not really sure what the vault has, but it has something to do with the Eye of the Universe and maybe the reason why they think that the Eye of the Universe has turned evil, or is going to turn evil. And so we want to open up that vault, because we're pretty sure, based on our experiences in the, like, before the DLC game, the Eye of the Universe doesn't want to be good or bad, it's just, I feel like my interpretation of the way the ending is, of the original game, is that the Eye of the Universe is just a feature of the universe itself. And it's not good or evil, or it doesn't have any sense of morality, it's just something that is. And it exists in a quantum state that you can influence by being an observer going into it, like the Nomai had predicted. But the Owl Men seem to think otherwise, and whatever they think has something to do with whatever whatever is in the vault. So we want to open up that vault and figure that out. Like, why do they think that? What's in the vault? We also did learn that the Owl Men left their home planet. They didn't just leave their home planet. They decimated their whole their home planet in order to create the Stranger to move to our solar system. So whenever we saw them crying over their home planet as if they couldn't get back to it, it was actually just because they had destroyed their own home planet to in pursuit of the Eye of the Universe before they realized it was evil. Which is pretty heavy stuff, like if you think about it. It's the, kind of the idea is that they made this big sacrifice because they thought it was the right thing and then suddenly changed their minds. And we're not exactly sure what caused them to change their mind, but it had something to do with the video reel that we saw of one of the Owlmen using a green scepter to scan the eye of the universe, or scan its signal, and get a vision of it turning evil and destroying everything, including them. Which means, I mean, maybe they're not entirely wrong about that. We still don't exactly know why the universe ends the way it does. A lot of the idea that players have is that's just the way the Earth, the universe was going to end. It's just the heat death of the universe. It was bound to happen. The eye of the universe isn't necessarily responsible for it, but it hasn't really been ruled out. 
My cat is going nuts, by the way. What do you want? I'll be right back. What do you want? Place. All right. So, no, I didn't hurt her. I just blocked the door that she kept on banging against because she wanted out. Now, so the where was where was my train of thought? Yeah, we don't know for sure if the eye of the universe is ending the universe the way it is, or if it actually is the heat death of the universe. That's what a lot of people just assume is the case. It's not the eye of the universe that's doing it. It just happens to be the last place you can go at the end of the universe. Which, you know, maybe that's what it wants you to think. Or maybe it doesn't. Like I said, maybe it doesn't want anything. Maybe it has no morality. It's just a feature of the universe. It doesn't want anything any more than a photon wants to escape the sun. Alright. So we're gonna go into this. We've puzzled out a couple of things. We've reached two of the secret libraries. And the last thing I think we need to do before we can open the vault is get down to see what's in the well. We did get part way down, but we got mopped. And that was before we realized, oh yeah, the dudes in the well are probably gonna go away once the tower gets flooded. So we're gonna get in there. And we should actually yeah, no, I'm not gonna bother. I was gonna say we should actually try to figure out when it is that the tower gets flooded. Because it's not when the dam first bursts. Because you feel the water hit the tower, and even if you're sleeping in the tower in the virtu like you're visiting the virtual world from from the tower bonfire then you feel the water hits the tower but it doesn't wake you up so you do still they so they must also survive that at least for a little while okay and as a treat i got my controller figured out so i had i had made an issue where you can't you couldn't use mouse look at the same time as moving the stick because I didn't have mouse look, I was like, I had mouse look, but it, everything, all, all of the other buttons were set to joy, joypad mode. And with this game, it doesn't do like to do both at the same time. So I've just switched to mouse, the, switched the mouse mode to be like a, a mouse like joystick. That solved the problem. Not as good as mouse, but it'll do the job for now. Okay. As always, I forgot to mark the stranger on my computer. So let's get up to speed for a little bit and unbuckle. Rumor mode, why? Mark location. Doesn't look like there's anything new for us to look at. We need to know what's in the vault. We need to go to the secret well. Those are the only question marks we have right now. And the only other thing that isn't fully explored is the reservoir. And I have a feeling that has something to do with the the vault. And that's sealed in that large bell-like structure. Okay. Page autopilot. like garbage. This is a day for 
eating like garbage for me. Alright, there we go. We're approaching from the side. Ooh. Let's match velocity for a moment. Nice. Spaceship controls are much smoother if you have the gamepad. I need to tweak my my sensitivity on the look. Controls. Look sensitivity. Dot, 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 dot. Light sensitivity. Let's do that too. Not as much, but let's try that. Let's see how it works. Yeah, that's good. That's almost too much, actually. Let us... Hmm. It says to adjust the sensitivity in-game. Gyro sensitivity... Hmm... Okay, we want to do this. There. So now I can do fine tune movements with my gyro and do bigger movements with my mouse, my, with my touchpad. Okay. This is going to be different. So I, I was starting to get used to the mouse and keyboard, and now I'm switching back to this. Even though it's been a while since I've used either. Oh. like not a lot of time but I spent like 10 minutes getting the controller set up and now I just feel like going back to the mouse and keyboard now that I've gotten used to it it was still earlier on in the playthrough then maybe I could readapt to the controller but since I feel like I'm close to the end I might as well stick with the mouse and keyboard let's open the doorway here need to change the sensitivity now. There we go. That's better. Oh. There we go. So let's open the doorway. I don't know if I actually need to. At this point, I probably don't. Let's do it anyway. Doesn't take very long. I don't think we need to be in a hurry to do the to get into the well. But we need to go around here. There's this extra area over here. I feel like it doesn't need to be here. So there must be some extra thing, some purpose to it that I'm missing. Or is this how I got to the next area? It could be. It's been like almost a day since I played it and I feel like I'm already forgetting some details. But I was playing it a lot the past few days. Alright, well, 
let's just go back. Or I can just go in the water. Alright, so... Take our artifact, go to the tower, and do some similar stuff. Destination. So we need to do a little bit of prep. We'll bring our tower over to that dock, just so we have it ready. It's handy having a, a tower there. There we go. Yeah, see? That's not glass. Those are screens. Like, those are video screens, I think. If I get up close to them, they'll probably have LED pixels the same way. Or LCD pixels the same way. The other screens I checked out before had them. I bet it's similar. Ha, ah, this one. Find sometimes in this game. I just hold the shift key as if it's the run button, but it's not. what I have to do. I guess what I could do is just I'll activate the dock like I had been before. And I love that creepy thump, thump from them just walking around. You don't even know what they're doing or why they have to be walking around. They've been here for like what? Thousands? They've been here for longer than the Nomai have died. And they're still just kind of like trucking around. Doing who knows what. You have to imagine they're going a little bit crazy. No, I don't want to go over here. I want to go back. I want to go down those stairs that I just passed by. that alarm bell. That's like the training wheels alarm bell. It's easy to get past that one. Ooh, I almost overshot it. Myself the rest of my energy drink. Okay. And we're going to extinguish those lights. That's going to upset them. Oh, hey! That's one way to do that. down here. Oh.
actually gonna go back in. Oh. Ooh. Did I deke him? Ooh. Well, I guess that counts as getting away. Let's try that again. I don't see any reason to switch to the cliff side. Until these guys are also waking up. We'll try to sneak past at least once. Then we'll go to the cliff side. And we will kind of try to sneak past. You know what? Actually, we can just sneak past without without our artifact. We'll use the trick where you just leave it on the ground. And walk away. There we go. And we have to sneak past him. He can't really see us unless we get close enough. There isn't any invisible bridges here, is there? Doesn't seem like there is. Yeah, that bridge is the only way <clears throat> to get to it. alarm sees me when I'm like this, does it? Because it's dark, right? It's too dark for him for it to see me. Now the thing is, I will probably need my artifact to interact with something up ahead, which makes this journey a little bit pointless, but at least I can do I can do some scouting this way. living in the lowlands died. Okay, so there's another statue here, and then an elevator at the end. So I need to make it to that elevator. Now, the thing is... to partly see where I'm going. Oh, let's not walk into that guy, because he will detect me if I stand too close to him. What? You got food. You're good. You okay, honey? I'll be right back. Hi. Want me to just open the door for you, so you can wander around a little bit? We'll just be right back. And we're back. Eh, I just had to let my cat out of the room. She was getting a little restless, and I figured she just wanted to get outside. Okay, so... See, I have no problem getting past them right like this. But the thing is... Oh, there's another stairway here. Okay, I think I went down this way before, but... This leads to water. This is not... Can I just... Oh no, it's not water. There's more things to look at down here, but I don't know... That's actually useful for me or not. No, it doesn't seem like it. Alright, we'll go back up. 
and grab our artifact. I think I got a better idea of how this place is laid out. Yeah, it surprised me the most when I came down here the first time, how many of them were here. But I didn't know this trick here where you can just wander around without your artifact and nobody can see you. And you can see everything a lot better than when you're just wandering around in the dark. Oh! I got a little too close. He didn't like that. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, too late now. See, I'm thinking I could do this. I could go to the cliffside bonfire and just wait for the moment right before the end where the tower falls over and they all die off. But I don't think that'll give me enough time to actually explore what's going on down there. And we want to go this way. Nobody's patrolling this spot. Which is weird. you think they would be. It's the only way I can get down below. I mean, if this weren't a video game and they were thinking logically, then yeah, that's what they would do probably. I just walked into the water. You know what? Yeah, let's go to the cliffside. This tower has a wicked lean to it now. That fuel's getting low, so let's just run over to that eye shrine. Wow. So that's where you can get extra fuel, and then we will zip over to... Actually, that raft that I left over here is gone now, isn't it? So we have to use this one. Let's go this way. Get enough, just enough time to do something meaningful. Oof. No. Did I mi did I miss my opportunity? Ooh, that cable could probably kill me if I touched it. No, I'm not gonna be able to do it. God damn it. Okay, we'll go back around. Actually, can I? No, I can't. There's no way for me to get around over that way. Sneaking past those dudes pretty quickly there, didn't I? We'll try it this way, and if we really don't have enough time to do anything meaningful, 
probably just gonna make a straight line to that elevator. Oh. I'm starting to wonder why the music seemed to go away. When the water level's a bit higher, sometimes you're rafting along and hearing the rafting music and it just stops randomly, probably because you're going over some spots that wouldn't normally have rafting music, because you're not you normally on a raft in those spots. Come on! Seriously? I am getting a little frustrated by that. And we're at the end anyway. The tower just fell over. Oh, I'm still alive. Yeah, there's the tower there. It's already fallen over. I should have been at the cliffside right now. We'll attempt that again. We do it this way then. Okay, yeah, so we will try. It's hard to tell exactly when the tower falls over, but it is ha it does happen before the music starts at the end of the world. And it's weird. I never really thought about it. But it actually makes sense that you hear the music at the end of the world. Because that's something that the Nomai could have programmed in. No, oh, I don't need to select that again. The fact that it's piano, and the Nomai are usually associated with the piano, means that, yeah, they probably did that deliberately, just as a warning. Because that was their whole plan, is to use the supernova. If, they're, if they thought they were going to be the ones triggering the supernova and they knew, you know, the time range that was being... Like, the time... What do they refer to it as? The negative time interval. They, if they, they, they knew what the negative time interval would be, so... They could easily set it up so you'd hear a little chime in your head at the end of the world. I don't need to stop by that first mortuary to do this. Alright, I know, I know the sequence of events I need to do right now. At least to attempt to, to do my theory. I don't know if it's actually the correct sequence of events, but I've got a sequence of events in my head. Artifact got. There's a raft behind this mortuary. Yeah. Ooh, a little too fast. to do an attempt at the tower or going to the cliffside mortuary because if we do the do it the cliffside mortuary way we have to make it through that mansion and that takes a little bit of time too and then we have to use our raft to go through the other two areas before we get to the tower dream world i've been calling it the other world but it's very clear that it's a virtual reality dream type scenario so let's just call it the dream world. That feels a lot more accurate. Already holding artifacts. Oof. Yeah, I can feel the energy drink starting to do its job. Which is good.
Ooh, three minutes. I know. We've got some time. So we'll do it the same way I did before. We'll light up the boathouse, dock, dock house, whatever you want to call it. Then we'll extinguish the alarms, or the lights for the alarms. I didn't need to go this way. And then we will leave, leave. Not just kind of leave and then change your mind. But actually leave. And go to the go to the cliffside mortuary. Come on, come on. I guess I kind of decided to do that once I realized, oh, I can zip, I can teleport down there with that hand statue. And then I wanted to try to sneak past this guy in the building we just passed, but it didn't work out. hand statues. They're cool looking. They're freaky, but they're cool looking. And extinguish. And let's jump in the water. Is there water right here? Ooh. No, there's not. Ooh, there's not there either. There we go. That's better. Alright, so... Get out of here. Go to the cliffside. And we'll go take our raft back. We'll top off our fuel. That's probably part of the reason that fuel is there. Just so you can top it off. To do these sequence of events. Just like the term sequence of events. Like, yeah, I got a plan. It's 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 a more scientific way of saying you have a plan. More specific in a way too. I feel like a lot of the time when people use the word plan, they don't actually mean a plan plan. They just mean they have an idea of what they want to do. Yeah, I need to slow down here. Oh yeah, we're making good time. Come on, move. Yeah, there we go. My problem the last couple of times I went down here is I kept on using my light to speed up. And then I just overshot what I was aiming for. There we go. that a couple of times and I wondered if they were plants or if they were a design but they're moving around like they're just plants and I see there's a couple more like that around okay plants mansion. I refer to this as a mansion. There's another large building in the dream world that I refer to that I refer to as the lodge. Sometimes it's gotten them mixed up though. 
But this is what I refer to as the mansion, because it's very large, and it's on the cliff sides, which makes it look fancy. Okay. Get that bridge up here. Yeah. bridge appear here and then I went and dispelled the thing that caught that triggered all the Alman to start patrolling the halls and then I thought that the bridge would still be there but no of course they disabled it I wonder if there's any reels in here Just out of curiosity, will I be able to go through those doors if I'm like this? No, doesn't seem like I am. Because some of these doors open up once they start patrolling. But it's very difficult to actually explore in them. And I kind of feel like it's not really worth it. So we need to go here. It's nice, because this area, it's not so complicated that you can't reach this while they're patrolling, but I do appreciate the fact that you have to do this at least once before you activate them and they're patrolling and you have to do it again while they're patrolling. I think that's kind of a nice, that's a nice game design thing. It's like, there's this weird creepy place and you're not sure what's gonna happen, but you have to navigate your way through and oh it turns out it's totally safe and then now do it with enemies <laughs> hmm. I never actually noticed there's a window there that you can clearly see That hole and I'm pretty sure I noticed this hole here before but I didn't know it was an actual I didn't know it was a place that you could go It just looked like I don't know, looked like window into something else. Like maybe you could be there, but you're not going to walk over air to get to it, right? Right? And then it turns out you do. All right. <laughs> you can kind of speed it up from a distance. You don't want to speed it up too much from a distance because then it might pass right by you. figured out what you're supposed to do with that area but I'm kind of wondering if it's a red herring and I'm thinking that the place that's your actual goal you're not supposed to actually you're not supposed to go through there through the front door you're not supposed to go through the intended path you're supposed to use the hint that you found about dropping in to the, dropping through the world while loading in between areas by the lodge. Now we're back at the tower. There's the dam breaking. We're making good time.
the sound of the water rushing by that I can hear in real in the real world. I want to go this way. What do I get if I go to the end of this area? Is this just, just a dead end? Yeah, it's just a dead end. It's just to get to this boat house. Let's make that opened. Excuse me. So we'll take this elevator down. We'll try to get past the first Almen. I feel like it might be important to do that at least. Hey buddy. Is he following me? It would kind of suck if he followed me this way. Oh, fuck, he found me. Fuck. Damn it. Alright, have to go take that boat ride again. It won't take as long to get through the big house, though. is just kind of a weird not crater but it's a weird weird round horseshoe cliff type thing oh. should have should have sent this back up after I went down it Just in case, just in case we need to use it again. That way it's quickly, easily accessible. And here we go. thing about this game is it kind of rewards patient planning in a way that a lot of games don't so the dam's already burst in this area should be dead they'd be playing music right now but they're not all right we're back 
back to the tower. Ready to make another attempt. And like I said, I still believe... Wait. Oh, that just makes another raft here. Okay. I was gonna say, wait, what does this torch statue do? Does it do something cool? Something useful? But no. I mean, it'd be, it would be useful if I needed to get to the next area. But I don't think I do. But yeah. If I can get past the first Owlman, then... I will be able to get closer to the next area where there's more Almen. And then I'll be able to have, I might have more time to figure out what I need to do at the very end of the universe. died. Okay, the tower probably just fell down. So I need to hurry now. No, not that way. This is when they found out the universe was evil. Burned down the shrine, and then they built the statue. They did something to the eye of the universe. Okay. I don't have enough time to watch more than one reel, do I? is telling me something important. Let's finish this slide reel first. Uh, no, didn't get to the end. Or did I? I might have skipped through it. Damn it, I can't remember which reels I grabbed in case I need to grab the last one real quick. That's okay. We're gonna do this, little we're gonna lame it out. Gonna lame it out like it's cross tekken as they would say. Because <gasps> we know we can get to the end and see a slide reel. If I'd gotten past, gotten a little bit further down the well before the end of the universe like that, then I probably would have had time to see all three. It's kind of a shame. Alright. So, 
they did something to the Eye of the Universe. Something to do with the way their propeller unit goes, works. I referred to it as tugboat at one point, because that's kind of what it seemed like. It seemed like a thing that was supposed to be pulling the rest of the stranger along. View entry. Library full of intact slide reels hidden deep underground. There's a container marked with one of the vault seals, but its contents have been destroyed. I found a slide reel that showed shows the stranger's inhabitants analyzing an anomaly that closely resembles the Nomai symbol for the Eye of the Universe. Intact slides reveal the construction and launch of a spacecraft designed to block the eye's signal. Huh. Okay, so that's what it was doing. There's more to explore there. So that's what they tried to do to the Eye of the Universe. I don't think they were successful. Suited up, we're ready to go. Let's try this again. Ah. I appreciate that the game is like, ah, oh, you almost got it. Close enough. We'll, we'll reverse that a little bit so it counts. I feel like once we get this accomplished, we'll have a better idea of what we need to do to actually open up this, the vault. Because that's ba that's... I need to stop saying basically, it's a crutch word for me. That'll be one of the last things that we need to do. Excuse me. Word, kind of an ableist term. It is kind of, isn't it? Because the way crutch word is used is it implies that it's, you're so, it's something that you're using to make things easier, but you don't really need it. Or you become stronger if you avoid using it. Which I don't think that's how people think about crutches. Most people don't want to use a crutch. If you're using a crutch, you're looking forward to getting rid of that crutch as quickly as possible. More or less. Because they are awkward and cumbersome. So no, not only is it kind of ableist, but it's also like doesn't really make a lot of sense. At least not in the modern age. Maybe back in the day, crutches were not thought of the same way, but... Or the idea of healing wasn't thought of the same way either. That's also... That also kind of makes sense. They just thought that, you know, you'd probably get better faster if you didn't use a crutch when, you know, if you've got a broken leg, obviously that's not going to be the case. You want to keep as much weight off of the broken leg as possible. Well, there's kind of like two reasons why it's kind of a bad term to use, really. Oh, there we 
we go. Aha! Teleporty candy. Me a balloon. Eee. All right, now onto the cliffside. Now we'll top off the fuel. We don't need to, but in case, just in case we have some trouble with the raft and we have to do a little boosting around. Before I started playing Outer Wilds tonight, I was playing some Deep Rock Galactic with some buds. I'd really like to play some Deep Rock Galactic on stream. I don't know how well it works though, because every time I've tried to do it, my internet just craps out. But I don't know if that's just because I've been really bad. Getting you bad luck with connecting with randoms that have a poor connection to me. Or if it's just that, you know, I just can't handle playing Deep Rock Galactic and streaming at the same time with this internet connection. That's possible. One of the things I like about Deep Rock Galactic is it kind of almost has a similar visual style to this game. It's not like extremely high fidelity graphics. They're nice, but they're nice kind of chunky graphics with some basic textures. Not super complicated or realistic looking, but kind of almost this, kind of almost this toy box aesthetic really. I'm not really sure how else to describe it. Everything, most things look like they're put together with Legos in this game, and in Deep Rock Galactic. And like this pluck, like this chunky plastic texture, almost. Even the wood, like you can tell what wood is supposed to be, but it almost looks like... There's like a little bit of a cartoonish quality to it. But I don't mean that in a disparaging way, I think... I think it adds to the charm. If those were attempting to be realistic looking, it would probably look way too busy. It'd be too visually noisy. And this is a game where focusing on the details is important. So having less details in the visual or the, the visual art style is very is actually kind of important for the gameplay. If I, if I look like I'm angry, I'm not actually angry. I'm just like I got my serious face on. Oh, 
no, didn't quite, wasn't quite able to jump over that. already? I don't think it has yet. Any light, more candles to light up? No. Let's get down. I do like that plan of sending the elevator back up just to give myself like an extra half second which might be actually important. Ooh. Hmm. If I were to fall into the space between loading areas, I don't think I have a way that I could get to Actually, what I need to do is fall into the space between loading areas and then walk away from my artifact just to see if there's any hidden bridges or anything else like that that I could use. I'm not going to do it on this run though. I've already accomplished too much towards my goal. See if I'm gonna hear the music. Yeah, I can hear the music. So the dam hasn't burst yet. All right, here's the tower. Where's the burnt out shrine? I must have passed by it already. Okay. Ooh. They like their antler motif. There's the dam. Hi, you. How you doing, Rainer? sounded like it came in the direction I just came from, which makes sense. Where is he? He's on the bridges already? Whoa! Fuck! That was a dumb move. should have done was get onto the bridge, conceal my light, run to the end, turn 90 degrees when I was able to, and keep running for a little bit until I hit the dirt. Then turned left, flicked my light on, try to figure out where I need to go next, try to get to the well. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't follow me the whole way. 
He might, but who's to say? Somebody who's beat this game before, maybe. Second, I will be right back.